Take a look at this airplane from the 1972. The Bartini Bereave VVA-14 Vertical Novizialetis Amphibia, vertical takeoff amphibious aircraft, was a wing and ground effect aircraft developed in the Soviet Union. Designed to be able to take off from the water and fly at high speed over long distances, it was to make true flights at high altitude, but also have the capability of flying efficiently just above the sea surface, using aerodynamic ground effect. The VVA-14 was designed by Hungarian-born designer Robert Bartini in answer to a perceived requirement to destroy United States Navy Polaris missile submarines. The final aircraft was retired in 1987. Only two prototypes were built. After extensive research, including the development of the small prototype BE-1 wing and ground-effect aircraft, the first VVA-14 prototype was completed in 1972. Its first flight was from a conventional runway on the 4th of September 1972. Powered by two Solovev D30M turbofan engines and 12 Rybinsk RD3635 PR turbofan lift engines producing 67 and 43 kN thrust respectively, enabling it to achieve a maximum speed of 760 km per hour at a ceiling of 8,000 to 10,000 m with an impressive range of 2,450 km. But the lift engines were never installed. After Bartini's death in 1974, the project slowed and eventually drew to a close, the aircraft having conducted 107 flights, with a total flight time of 103 hours. The only remaining VVA-14, number 1972, was retired to the Soviet Central Air Force Museum, Moscow in 1987. As a result of uncertain accidents during the shipping to museum, the aircraft received some damage but these damages were not repaired afterwards. The aircraft still resides at the museum in a dismantled state, where it carries the designations 10687 and Aeroflot. That's all for today. See you in another video.